we want to just sort of throw them in there and take all the reps at, at uh, um, you got to work them in and not overdo it the first day. I mean, it's an extra day. The Delaney giving him additional time or inability to go or how, how you did you that sort of thing? Um, just with an extra day, wanted to give him some time. Uh, he's probably the most serious out of anybody. Um, we're hoping that he'll be back, but uh, I would I would not think he's going to play today. But again, I, I'm that's his body. I, I, again, you know me. I, I, everybody's different. Strong guy backing him up in Schwenke. Yeah, I mean we we had this uh, situation last year where where uh, Spain went down. Schwenke had to go in there and and um, you know performed well for us. Uh, he did. He did uh, a good portion today. Not a full. It's a very similar to Corey. Very similar. You talked about uh, before he left, wanting to see more out of the run game. How? How can I guess? Can you address that for best? Is it scheme? Is it blocking? Is it what, what do you? Think? Uh, I think there's a, a lot that goes into the run game. You know, um, it's a lot of things. It's it's uh, who you face too. Uh, has a lot to do with it. Um, you know, we got to do a better job in some of the, the uh, one-on-ones, the blocks up front, uh, blocks outside. So it just, just again, um, we're not far behind from where we were last year. I mean, maybe 175 yards. And, again, we didn't have a, a quarterback for three and a half games that could run the ball who who basically made up for those 100 and some yards. So that, that has a little bit to do with it. Um, you know, what he can do off of that – Helps our run game, not not just with, with his legs, but what he does when he affects teams um, has a lot to do with the run game. So that, that that's a big factor. I think Marcus is, is back to where um, we need him to be to play at you know the same level he did before the injury. Is that 100? I would think so. I mean, um, I would think that. Yeah. Teams focusing on any more on, on Delaney this year than they have in the past. I know he's always been. I uh, really kind of wonder if any more this year. Yeah, they are. Uh, yeah, there's much more double and, in some cases, triple coverage on Delaney. Yes. I guess that just kind of adds to the chat. I mean, you, you feel like you still have to get him involved, I assume, right? Absolutely. Yeah, he's a he's a playmaker. He's got to find a way to get him the football. It makes he changes games. Corey's able to go. Does he get the full load? Do you kind of put him on the uh, We'll make that decision after he's gone through a full week of practice to see where he's at. How much, uh, based, on, based on his contribution in the opener after not playing the preseason, does that give you uh, yeah, I'm glad we, feeling about yeah. his ability to come in? And... I would think so. I mean, it'd be hard to go in stone cold with no work uh, and then be at game eight and throwing him in there. I mean, I was impressed with what he did without any game experience, NFL experience prior to the Oakland game, what he did in that game. So uh, that helps matters that uh, we've seen him. He can be effective when he's healthy. How much of a trickle-down effect can his presence have on a lot of other guys? I, I, hope, I hope it'll affect, you know, some coverages with him out there. I mean, maybe it helps Delaney as well, um, but it should help him. Again, he's got to he's got to produce out there and, and show that he is that threat we think he can be. Did you come back from the bottom and, and point out the standings? Say, hey, we're four and three you know, after seven weeks, and we our, our goals are still within reach. Do you, do you have that conversation, or guys? Just kind of no, I had that conversation with him yeah. where we're at right now. Yeah, we need to have that discussion. Cyprian's right as he slide back into that starting role. Yeah, we'll, we'll. I would think that um, we're going to see if he's ready though before we make that decision. You keep an eye on what's going on in Baltimore with Flacco. Yeah, um, you know, I saw the I saw the hit. Um, you know, again, that's something they've had extra time as well as maybe they haven't had the week like we have, but they have extra time to get him back off the concussion protocol. But uh, we'll be ready for both quarterbacks. Yeah, we no, we, we we have depth at safety. That's the, the beauty of it. I think all of our guys have played well. Um, you know, we'll have a dilemma because one of them will have to sit if he is back, and that that one will have an impact on our special teams as well. We do have, <clears throat> sorry, back to Jim's question. We do have that discussion with the guys, just kind of about where you say, what, what do you say to them, and is it a, is it a two way thing, or is it you just talking at them? No, I just tell them um, where we are during the, you know, at this point of the season. Um, really can't worry about what's happening elsewhere. You know, no no game yesterday affected where we are today. 
and no game next week will affect where we are tomorrow or next week. It's what we do. It's, it's all in our hands. It has nothing to do with anybody else. We've we got to take care of our own selves and not rely on other people. Um, so that's important that they understand that, where we're at right now, halfway through. Ravens defense leads the league in turnovers. What's made them so effective? Uh, the same scheme that, that's been going on before. You know, Dean's done a very good job um, with the scheme. Chuck was there before. The, the scheme has been there for years, and they have the personnel to play behind it. It's, it's a very good defense. They're very confident in what they're doing. It's not real complicated at all. Um, it's not very complicated. It's a matter of guys blocking people. You know, they got to block them. They, they're going to know where they're at. We just got to block them. We're going to see goatee Mike Malarkey the rest of the way? No, uh, I, I don't know. I just this was a this was a weekend deal, and so no, <laughs> I don't know. Probably not. Do, do you see? Do you see an extra bounce of guy steps coming off? Yeah, the that was a pretty darn good Monday. Um, it, you know, again, I'll, I'll say this: you can tell how the energy is going to be when you get into meetings, and it was good this morning when they got here. But that was a very good Monday practice. You sense a hunger amongst the guys, I mean, knowing where they stand and, and what's right. I think they, I think they know where they are. I think they understand what we have to do. Um, it's in our control what we do. Um, you know, would we like to have a better record at this point? Um, it is what it is. It is what it is. We're, um, but I think we got a good group in that locker room that understands, you know, where we're at and, and going to try to keep it where we're at. A lot about Corey. I mean, but what's the hunger level for a guy like that who's kind of been chomping at the bit to play? What, uh, what do you see from him, and how anxious do you think he is to, to get out there? And- he's uh, <laughs> he's more anxious than any of you. I promise you. He he is. Uh, he's been very patient. He's a, he's he's a competitive guy, and and to sit there and watch week after week when you know. You know, you put a lot of pressure on yourself when you're in that position. Your number one pick, where he, where he's picked, um, he just I think puts a lot of pressure on himself to to be there for his teammates. And now he gets a chance to. But I I, I admire the way he handled it. Um, I really do. I admire the way he's handled it. To, to that end, uh, you guys have you know you said and you know, the guys have said that once he's back, it should open up a lot of things for the offense, be able to do a lot more things. Do you worry about him trying to put trying to do too much too soon? Uh, if we let him, you know, that's one thing where we have control over the routes he's running right now, the, the number of routes he's running, everything he's doing. So, yeah, if, if we let him, he'd probably take every snap that he could. But, um, again, we'll, we'll be smart getting him back in. Specifically, uh, Marcus, what, what areas would you like to see him improve in the second half of the season? Uh, there's a couple throws that I know that, uh, you know, just the, the time clock, the body clock, um, you know, again, I, I harp, I, I say it to him every game to please take what the defense gives you. And uh, there, there's a fine line between that and sometimes maybe stepping up in the pocket and making some of the throws that are down the field, possibility of some bigger throws. Uh, they're, they're, again, we're talking, you know, we're talking about a handful of plays that may have been explosive plays. Um, so it is a fine line. You, I'm saying one thing, and, and you know it can be in between both of taking it or buying a little time and trying to hit a ball down the field. Some of that rhythm, I guess, him getting steady games together, piecing them together. It's rhythm and uh, how healthy. And that's how healthy he really is. Um, I'm sure that has a lot to do with the body clock. He's been so good at not taking the risk and taking care of the ball. But is part of the quarterback position to a degree taking a calculated risk here or there to take a shot in one of those plays? Um, I'd say... Uh, I, these aren't these aren't like uh, throws that are contested. These are throws I think he, he could make. I mean, I don't think there'd be any. Uh, yeah, he's been smart with the ball, and I'm not going to change it. I, uh, there's some things, little things that we can fix still. I, I think a healthy Marcus will be good for us. Um, but uh, I have never played the position at this level. I mean. It's hard for me to sit here and say what's risk and not. Um, he's been pretty good. He's, he's laid the ball in a lot of places um, that I didn't think were possible, and he's he's done a good job of that. I, I, I'm gonna let him play. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna screw him up. When you're talking body clock, you're talking timing. Yeah, just timing. I mean, how much is a is a rush close? Not close? <laughs> I've been in the pocket. Yeah, just it's just a body clock, right? Good. Okay. Thanks. Sure.
Sorry. Sorry. You got a second?